morning everyone hopefully you can hear me it's a little windy here um i'm back out again trying to get back into it <laughs> not that i ever stopped just the videos have kind of slowed down for a while there for a very long while i'm just going to hold my hand up here and try and block the wind um so i'm out at tiny beach and we're going after just a nice little Nice little lead in line here. We've got the water flowing through into the ice here, and then we've got the mountains off in the distance on the horizon. And it's just before sunrise here. The uh, sun's about to peak up over the horizon, and there's a cloud. It's a little hard to see. There's that long line of cloud up there above the peak, and I'm hoping to get the rising sunlight catching off of that. So we're just waiting for the light now. Uh, my composition's looking pretty good though. It's a little hard to see here and it's on its side. But we got the nice little lead in line. Uh, as far as settings go, ISO 100, F11, and a quarter of a second. So we're going to see what we get here. Okay, so the sun is just starting to peak up here. Um, now I've had to adjust my exposure a couple times since. Um, we're now at an eighth of a second, F11, ISO 100. Um, using a two second timer and I'm focusing on that little bit right in there. And it's giving me really nice depth of field all the way through the whole scene here. Um, oh, I can see a traffic light way over in front of Blue Mountain. It's red. Anyway, uh, the sun is just starting to peek in and we're just starting to get a little bit of the pink hue on those clouds way up over there. Just starting to get it now. Because um, if I turn around here you can see pink is just lighting up these clouds behind me, in between me and the sun, and it's starting to light up. So we're going to see how it goes. So the sun has been over the horizon for almost 10 minutes here, and the pink light I wasn't quite that I was expecting on the clouds hasn't quite materialized yet. And actually, the what little pink light started to form there is starting to fade. So I think there's actually a cloud formation somewhere in between the rising sun and those clouds that's blocking it in. Um, so I'm going to wait it out a couple more minutes here just in case. But um, I think most likely that getting that light on those clouds is a bust at this point. So we're going to just watch for a couple more minutes. Um, apparently, the universal constant is that no matter what I do, I will pick the coldest morning or the rainiest morning or the most miserable morning to go out anyway. My face is freezing. Uh, well, burr. Um, so yeah, made it back to the car here and we're just uh, warming up a little bit before I go here. It's, jeez, it's cold. But yeah, the light never really materialized. As you can see here, it's faded to white on the other side of the bay. The sun's creeping across the bay towards me here. So, didn't get anything here, unfortunately, but it is only 7.28 a.m., here in Ontario right now on the 21st of February. So we are going to carry on and see what else we can find and go from there. hear me it's very windy here but I was in this location I was out here two three days ago and the ice literally only went 50 feet out from where I'm standing today I'd say it's closer to half a kilometer because the other day and I'll put the picture in the video as well there was some insane wave action some insane spray um, so I'll definitely include that. I don't see a photo here, unfortunately. And I'm gonna get blown away. <laughs> so, gonna head back to the car, and we're gonna call it a morning, I think. Go warm up and have breakfast. 